welcome to today's episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Efe West. If this is your first time on the channel, you are highly, highly welcome. This is a place for separate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstitions, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I am going to be talking about a very, very important aspect of African spirituality, which uh, involves the use of alcohol. Now, we are having some people that are trying to change things. So they are asking if alcohol is really, really necessary or if they can just go with water for libations and doing other things instead of using alcohol. There are some people that are saying that uh, they don't drink. They can't drink alcohol, so uh, they cannot use it. They want to be using water for their own spiritual practices. So I want us to dive into that today and dissect it. So uh, first of all, we need to know about alcohol. This is a substance that we have been using for hundreds of thousands of years in Africa uh, before the inception or the discovery of Europe. So um, alcohol is something that indigenous tribes and uh, people all over the world have been using for their own spiritual and medicinal practices and also recreational practices as well. So it's something that uh, stimulates the body. It is used to extract enzymes to separate molecules. Alcohol in um, ancient Africa have been used for many, many kind of things. We use it to extract um, enzymes from plants. We also use it for drinking and uh, we use it for preserving animal specimens. Same way they use it today, we also use it in the ancient time for the same purpose. So uh, in the spirit world too, we also use it to preserve the spirits, to call spirits, to bring them back to life, okay? So alcohol is something that is uh, very, very important. There are many things we can do with alcohol that we cannot do with water for the specific uh, qualities of alcohol. So we have to use it for certain things. We use it for extracting enzymes from plants. For instance, uh, when you want to do plant medicine, instead of ingesting the plants like that you don't want the plant to decay on time but you want to extract the enzymes from the plant and you want to ingest them the easiest thing to do is to put it in alcohol just like something that like i did here this is a root for some herbs i got from africa so uh, the only liquid or chemical I can use to extract the chemical components in these herbs is alcohol. That is the only liquid you can use that is also safe to consume at the same time. So what this does is that uh, it will prevent the herbs from decaying. At the same time, it will be extracting the enzymes from the herb. They have already been extracted. So uh, I can be drinking them, ingesting them so that they can work in the body and uh, those properties that I want from this herbs will not get into me and uh, they will add value to what is inside me or they will be repairing or solving the problems that is, they are meant to be solved inside me. So alcohol is very important. I cannot do this with water. Water we mix with the herb, the herb will still be decaying. I will not get the full enzymes that I want from it. So you cannot use water for this process. It has to be alcohol. So uh, for those people that are saying that uh, they cannot, they are alcohol intolerant, the best way for them to solve this problem is to kind of grind the air. You have to try to grind it to powder. Then you mix it with water. Anytime you want to drink it, you will take a tablespoon or teaspoon, mix it with a cup of water or drink it. Okay, that is that way you can use to extract it if you don't want to use alcohol. Me, I'm alcohol tolerant. So this is the fastest way for me. And it gets into the blood faster when you use alcohol because alcohol gets into your blood very, very fast. You can boil them. 
you can use boiling that is another process but it's a longer process for me you boil it very well then uh, you get the water from it that you keep it in a bottle put it in your fridge then you'll be drinking it little by little you can also extract the enzymes that way okay so these are three ways that people can be able to extract enzymes from plants and then they use it for medicinal purposes okay you know why the alcohol is strongest alcohol is something that is very very active and powerful and fast so once you put the herbs inside you don't need to do anything it breaks it down by this i mean strong alcohol not just all type this is not beer it should be at least 45 percent alcohol at least 45 percent the most recommended one is 50, 60% alcohol. They call that uh, ethanol. It has two molecules of carbon. Okay? Ethanol and alcohol is the same thing. Okay? I repeat again. Ethanol and alcohol is the same thing. You know? Nowadays, you see uh, Western chemists, they want to confuse people. They want to give you the impression that uh, they are doing something different from you. This is our technology that is told to Europe. When they use alcohol to break down this, or be calling it ethanol, giving the impression that it's something totally different. It's the same thing, okay? So please, when you want to know the difference, you get a high level of alcohol, have more percentage of alcohol inside. You say it's ethanol, it's like maybe 50, 60% pure alcohol. They start calling it ethanol. But it's the same alcohol, the same thing we drink. So don't get confused. The same way we synthesize and extract enzymes from plants, it is the same thing they do in West, Western medicine. They extract these enzymes, then they try to turn them into powder form and use it to make tablets for you to swallow. Okay, and then they charge you more money for doing that with all sorts of grammar and jargons to confuse you. We, we just get the egg, put it inside the alcohol, we extract it and we drink it. It's very fast like that. This is the way I do my stuff. If you cannot drink alcohol, you can pound, extract it. You can boil it, extract it, each to its own. Okay? Alcohol, uh, for me, is something that uh, is just, it's not uh, an ordinary liquid. Because uh, this liquid is a spirit on itself. Its name is spirit. It's a living entity on its own. Okay, it has the power of stopping decay. What you need to know about alcohol, it has the power of stopping decay. It has the power of stopping things from degrading, okay, from degradation. It has that power. That is why they call it spirits. Okay, it can stop death. It can stop things from decaying, from decomposing. Same way you can put an animal you dissect the animal, you put them in alcohol so that they will not decay. Okay, it stops them from decaying. In the spirit world, alcohol also stops decay and dying. Okay, this is what you need to know. This is the secret of alcohol. So when you using alcohol in a ritual, you are also stopping the forces of death or degradation from affecting the deity or the spirit you are giving it to. So when we give alcohol to our ancestors, we are actually stopping them from dying. We are giving them power to live again. Anything that will make them go, that will make them disappear, you are stopping it with the power of that alcohol. So you are not only giving life, like when you're giving water, you're giving life. When you're giving water to plant to grow, you're giving life to that plant. Anything you give water, you give life to it. When we give alcohol, we don't only give life, we also stop death, we also stop degradation. So you see the difference why alcohol is more important in libations to the spirits. It has this power inside it. This is what many people don't want you to know about it. So what you are holding, what you are holding in your hand, a bottle of alcohol is a very powerful stuff in the world of the spirits. It is not just a uh, an empty thing you are holding is something that you can use to give life and you can also use to stop death as well 
So this is uh, one of the great secrets of alcohol. So when we give it to our deities, we're giving them life and we're giving them power to live again. When you call the names of your loved ones, you call the names of your ancestors, you're giving them alcohol, you're calling them, you're giving them power in the ritual settings, you are actually bringing them back to life. After you have bring them back to life with this alcohol, you cannot give them food or blood or whatever you want to give them to sustain them. So you do this enough times, they become self-sustaining and they become very, very active in this physical material world. Okay, so alcohol should be seen uh, as a very powerful substance. It's like a bomb. It's not just something to drink and misbehave. It's very things are uh, very active in the spirit world. It stops degradation. It stops death. It reverses it and it gives life. So this is why you see in African spirituality, we give a call to our ancestors. We give a call to spirits. You see this in many indigenous cultures. They use it because they know the power of this thing. So if you know the power of this thing, you will be using it wisely. You will not be abusing it. Okay, you use it for lots of stuff. Okay, so this is why we use alcohol. So next time you want to do your libations, make sure you get a bottle of alcohol. There are some spirits that you give water, soft drink, they will not respond to you. But when you give them alcohol, they will respond to tell you that this thing has power. Okay, so it's not an ordinary thing, it's a time bomb you are holding in your hands, a time bomb you are holding. So you should be careful with this stuff, the kind of spirit you give, the kind of pronouncement you make when you're using this matters a lot. The kind of words that come out of your mouth when you pour alcohol, when you drink alcohol matters a lot. So it's not something you play with. Okay, so please uh, be advised. So this is what I have for you, the secret of alcohol. Use it wisely. It's a very powerful stuff. Okay. Questions or comments are welcome. Like and share this video. If you are interested in learning more about African spirituality, you can register at my website, www.kindoki.net. If you want to know about the scientific validity of African spirituality, you can also buy my book. And uh, until then, I will see you in the next video. So take care and bye. Peace.